It is becoming ever so more important to get a high school diploma or a GED and work toward a degree of some kind. It's too expensive. I can't pack up and go to a college campus. I don't have the time. I need to be working. These are all the concerns that we hear, but they're no longer valid because no longer do you have to drive to Auburn, to Tuscaloosa, to Athens, to Statesboro, or even Atlanta because higher education opportunities are available right here in Douglas County. And that's the topic, the focus for this roundtable. I'm Wes Tallon. Thanks for joining me. At today's Focus Roundtable are Lisa Doney, Executive Director of Campus Operations at West Georgia Technical College. Julia Array, Douglasville Site Director at Georgia Highlands College. And Myron Randall, Jr., Associate Director of Undergraduate Admissions at Mercer University. Thank you all for coming in. Thank Appreciate you for this. having us. Yeah. Absolutely. I think one of the big secrets in Douglas County is that we have three colleges and universities right here at home that offer a lot of different options and degrees for our citizens. It astounds me that one, out of 140,000 people in this county, a lot of people do not know that your three institutions even exist. Mm -hmm. yeah. And number two, those who do know that they exist do not take advantage of this opportunity. Now this is a roundtable discussion and there are a lot of topics I want to get to, but because you represent three different colleges, I want you to start off with your two minute elevator speech <laughs> to tell people, our viewers, about your college or university. Lisa, we'll start with you and West Georgia Technical College. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Wes, and thank you for having all of us here today. We love talking about our colleges and, and uh, getting the word out to the community about our different colleges. And you're exactly right. West Georgia Tech has been in existence uh, in the West Georgia area for over 50 years. Long time, 1966. And I still get folks coming up to me saying, I didn't know you were here. And it just kind of blows my mind, but that's great. I'm glad they're coming up to us and, and, and we want to, to give them all the information that we can about our college. But just to give you a little bit of information and to the viewers out there, um, we are, uh, West Georgia Tech was created in 1966, as I said, uh, through some evolving and, and merging. We merged with West Central Tech about eight years ago and, um, and it is now what we see today as West Georgia Tech. We cover seven different counties in the West Georgia Tech area, ranges from Harrelson County, Douglas County, all the way down to Troop and Merriweather with uh, Carroll, Coweta, and Heard County in the middle there. Um, we have five different campuses. We have three satellite campuses. Um, we serve, as far as credit hour, we serve over 7,000 students per semester for fall and, and spring, a little bit less in the summer because like, people like to take off summer, but um, have over 100 different associate degree, diploma programs, and certificate programs. So there's a lot of, of programs out there for students to choose from. When you talk about technical colleges, uh, a little bit different from my uh, compatriots here at the table, but um, we are a state college. Um, when you talk about any technical college in the state of Georgia, we have a threefold mission. The first one, as I talked about, the Associate and Diploma and Certificate Program, I credit programs where we prepare uh, students for the workforce or going on to other colleges in the state of Georgia or military or whatever their goal is. The second purpose is economic development. We work very closely with business and industry in our service area. And uh, whether it's new business, whether it's existing business, training their existing employees, or retraining employees. So we work very closely that way. And then the third, which I know is very close to your heart, Wes, is um, our adult education program. And that is exclusive to technical colleges in Georgia. Uh, we offer um, uh, the GED program, GED classes, and also English as a second language classes, and those are free to individuals. Now for GED, they do have to pay for the test, uh, but the classes 
are free. Now, when we look specifically at the Douglas campus, uh, we have been around for over 20 years. We are located Timber Ridge Drive, right by First Baptist Church. Um, we offer a lot of the same programs, some of the same programs uh, that the other campuses offer at West Georgia Tech. But um, one of the things that is unique to us is our Career Academy, and that's where our high school students attend for Move On and Ready uh, for the certificate programs. And we are one of the few uh, technical colleges that actually have a Career Academy on the campus, and that gives our high school students a lot of experience at being in college before they actually graduate high school. So I know we're gonna cover a lot of information here, but I would encourage uh, those out in the, in the public to check out our website. Um, there's a lot of information, a lot of information about our, our programs at westgatech.edu. Okay, Julia, Georgia Highlands College. Yes, 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 thank you for having me. Thank you for having everyone else. Georgia Highlands College, we've been around for almost 50 years. We used to be called Floyd College. So a lot of times people say, what, what's Georgia Highlands? Well, for those of you, we used to be Floyd College. Um, we have been in Douglas County for almost eight years. We started out in the trailers behind Chapel Hill High School. And now, <laughs> I know, right? And now we are physically in a building which we've been in for almost seven years on um, Stewart Parkway, we're across the street from um, Crossroads Church and the post office. So we're 5901 Stewart Parkway, stop in and see us anytime. Mm -hmm. Always welcome, always open door policy. Uh, we have, um, <coughs> we're a multi-campus institution. We have over five campus, we have five campuses, one here in Douglas County, we have one in Marietta, which we are on the same campus as KSU in Marietta. Well, formerly the Southern Polytechnic um, mm -hmm. campus. We are in Carter's Rome and also Paulding in downtown Dallas and Paulding. We serve over 6,000 students throughout all these five locations and also I forgot Heritage Hall which is where we house our nursing program and our dental hygiene program as well. We are a unit of the University System of Georgia so we are a state college. Here um, at Georgia Highlands we offer over 31 programs, what we call our pathway programs. Of course, we have associate's degrees, but we also have four bachelor's degrees. So we're very proud of that. We have one in dental hygiene, one in nursing, and we also started our new business programs. Right. And yes, yes, healthcare management and logistics. So we're excited about that. That's our, it's our first year with our new BBA programs. Um, we also house new Move On When Ready students, so we can have a student as young as 15, all the way to grandma and grandpa. We welcome <laughs> everyone at Georgia Highlands College. Uh, we also have our NOW program, which is nights, online, and weekends for the population of students that they may have families, they work full-time jobs, sometimes two jobs. We make it accessible for students to attend Highlands. So we're very proud of what we have going on. We're excited to be in Douglas County. We've grown over the years and we want to continue to grow here and um, supply the needs of the residents of Douglas County. Okay, Julia, thank you. Thank you. Myron, Mercer right. University. Well, Wes, I'm, I'm going to repeat what these ladies said. Uh, thank you for having us and that's redundant, but it's certainly not insincere. So we <laughs> are glad to be here and just excited to talk about Mercer University. Uh, you said something in your opening that uh, it's one of the best kept secrets in Douglas. Uh, well, if we do our jobs right, hopefully it's the worst kept yeah. secret yeah. 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 in yeah. Douglas yeah. after this show, right? Yeah. Uh, Mercer, where to begin, is the oldest private institution in the state of Georgia, founded about 184 years ago, uh, so has a strong history and heritage of educating the citizens of Georgia. Uh, we have got a campus right here in Douglas on Lithia Springs, right across from the Thornton Road Walmart. You can't get to Sweetwater Creek uh, without getting past us. Um, that campus has been there for about 20 years. Uh, we've been educating the citizens of Douglas, and that program is primarily for adults who want to go back to school who want to finish their degrees. All the classes there start in the evening at 5.30 p.m. Uh, they're geared toward those working adults. So you can work, but at the same time say, hey, I want to get that degree, I want to finish that degree, and you can do that right here in Douglas County. Uh, we've got online programs, we've got hybrid programs. You can study um, just a vast amount of things there on that campus. Everything from getting the BBA to uh, moving on to, what else is there? Being a teacher. 
uh, mm -hmm. or studying healthcare management or studying leadership or communication, all those programs available, psychology, human services, uh, just so many that are available right there in that Douglas campus, right across from the Thornton Road Walmart. So you can pick up some groceries and then go to class. <laughs> right? Or go to class and, and get some groceries. Absolutely. At Walmart's 24 hours, you certainly can. You got it. Yeah. So to get into college, yes. I yeah. mean, we talked a little bit about Move On Ready. We'll get more into that. But to get into college, normally as an undergraduate, one must have that high school diploma or their GED, like we, I said in my opening on that. Mm -hmm. A high school diploma or a GED is now the threshold, mm -hmm. the basic requirement to even get a job. Here in Douglas County government, you've got to have high school diploma or a GED to even have your application or resume even read on right. that. So, let's talk about how we get people to your front doors. What do we do? You said something about a GED program. How do we get people to get, if they have not gotten their high school diploma, how do we get them to get their GED and what do we offer? Well, uh, with our GED at West Georgia Tech, and we offer that on, on every one of our campuses, um, Douglas happens to be have the largest population of adult ed uh, students, GED students. I like to think it's not because uh, the school system is not doing its job. I like to think that we just do such a great job that we're getting folks from, yes. from other counties. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Um, but uh, we don't really have to advertise that much yeah. for adult ed. Um, you know, a lot of it is word of mouth. And again, when I talk about the quality of the teaching in adult ed, I think that is where um, the, the recruitment comes in. Um, and I have personally happen to know a lot of the teachers down there, the director down there, um, and they do a great job. And so that's what brings in a lot of our students to uh, GED and adult education. Um, the other thing, and, and I know that, that Julia can speak to it also, is um, encouraging our high school students in Move On and Ready to complete high school. And um, we have a very robust Move On and Ready program. Uh, it is one that uh, the state of Georgia has really built on and done an outstanding job in, in putting resources and specifically financial resources in Move On When Ready. Uh, Move On When Ready is uh, where students, high school students, is dual enrollment essentially. They can come to uh, high school, I mean come to the, the college or they can uh, take online classes and they can um, uh, get high school credit and they get college credit. So they're doing this while they're a high school student? Yeah, correct. At the From same time? From ninth grade all the way up to 12th grade. Okay. They can take college classes. With West Georgia Tech, we offer two different areas of Move On When Ready. One being the core classes, the academic classes, which mm -hmm. are offered at Georgia Highlands also, but we also offer uh, quite a, a, a variety of certificate programs ranging from, uh, in Move On When Ready, ranging from cosmetology, automotive, welding, um, culinary, uh, uh, criminal justice, it just goes on and on. But what is so exciting, especially as Move On When Ready has evolved in, in Georgia, is that these same students can start their freshman year or their sophomore year and be able to take enough classes to get a diploma, they definitely get a certificate, one, you know, one, two, or three certificates while they're there, but now they can get a diploma or an associate's degree before they graduate yes. high school. That's phenomenal. That's, that's yes. the trend, and yes. I think what happened in the last couple of years with Move On and Ready, it's made it so accessible to students. It's completely free. Your yes. application is free. Um, and we deal with the academic side of it. We don't have a certificate program such mm -hmm. as West Georgia Tech. Um, they have a twofold part, as Lisa mentioned, but ours is strictly those core classes um, that you need. And we've had students that graduated college before they received their high school mm -hmm. diploma. Oh, wow. Um, Okay, so they're starting in ninth grade and they're taking That's core classes. Well, they didn't start with ninth grade. The students with us started about 11th grade. About 11th. And then, um, so before high school graduation, they are graduating from Highlands with 
an associate's, an associate's degree. degree. And think about if parents are worried about the cost for college, think about what that just saved them. That's two years worth of college. You don't have to worry about paying for, even if your student is receiving scholarships, that's still two years that you don't have to worry about where those funds are gonna come from. Okay, move on, from, move on When Ready is completely free? It is free for our core classes, Class. mm -hmm. uh, except if there's a lab involved, the for lab instance, fees. biology, okay. there is or a $20, fee. $20, minor, $20 something yes. like that. Yes. For so nothing certificate certificate astronomical. Program. Okay, yeah. and the GED classes are free. Absolutely free, except for they do have to pay for the test, the GED test, but even then, um, there is there are a lot of uh, some organizations or even sometimes the um, college will step in and help to pay for those if there's a need they'll pay for the, the okay. test so we're talking about my, my list of concerns that I opened up with there we're, we're whittling away at yeah. those concerns exactly. here on, on this thing right now so you've got you know some of these things you've got kids in the move on from, when ready you've got we have adults who are, right. are, for whatever reason in their life, they did not get their high school diploma, yes. and they're coming to get their GED. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're at that milestone in their life, and they're deciding whether or not to go into the workforce, and certainly a lot of people go into the workforce, a lot of people go into the military, they want to do, do that. But when someone is deciding, making that decision, college is that other option yes. on that. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why should people go to college? Well, I, th I think <laughs> college just fundamentally changes their life economically. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. There are several things, that, uh, great question first of all. Uh, I read an article in the Atlantic Magazine that came out, I guess it's six months ago, right? January, yeah, oh, Lord have mercy, this year's flying by, I my goodness, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> uh, so six months ago, the Atlantic puts out this article that talks about what happens to folks who don't get college degrees or don't even get GEDs? Check this out. This was a crazy statistic. Over the course of their lifetime, they're going to change jobs every 24 to 48 months. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So every two to four years, they're changing jobs. But once you get a college degree or get a GED, that fundamentally switches for you, right? Then you change jobs on average five to six years. Yeah, I know, it's, yeah, it's, it's interesting, right? And usually, that. when you change jobs after getting the college degree or GD, uh, it's revenue positive for you. So you are <laughs> going to a no job, getting a higher salary, uh, you are going up revenue-wise. When you're switching jobs, not getting that GED or that college diploma, uh, you're usually revenue neutral, meaning that you're getting paid the same amount but have to change to another job. And I don't know why you're changing, maybe that company is, is laying folks off or you need to move to another situation or just, yeah. we don't know yeah. why, uh, but that is the trend and that's what the Atlantic Magazine says to us. So it changes your life, one, economically, and then imagine the stability that comes when you don't have to change jobs every two to four years. Uh, when you can hang around a company for seven years and begin to build your resume and then move on to that next position with a lot of skills and a lot of experience because you've gotten the education and now you've gotten the skills. So you become revenue positive. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's not, not lateral. lateral. Exactly. exactly, exactly. So it really changes their life. It really does. And I also want to add to that that I think sometimes um, is neglected from the conversation when college comes up the social aspect oh, of yeah. it, mm -hmm. where oh um, you are around people from all different backgrounds. You're meeting with people that you may have never experienced before growing up in your community or say for our international students sometimes. It's yes. a completely social development for people where you're learning and growing yourself and you're being exposed to ideas and thoughts that you've never thought about in your life. It opens up this arena for discussion where you can step outside of everything that you thought you knew mm -hmm. and be exposed to other ideas and then also the workforce is demanding college degrees whether it's a two-year degree or a four-year degree or you, a master's degree they are expecting by 2025 the college attainment to be 60% um, right now we're only at 40% mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. are still about 16.4 million left to reach that goal where the, the workforce is demanding this. So we have to start saying, yes, college is for everyone. It may not be a four-year degree. It could be a two-year degree or the type of degree that you're attaining. But 
the workforce is calling for it and we have to answer that call and I think that's why it's important that all of us are here collaborating and supporting each other because here in Douglas County industry is also cal um, calling for this and we right. have to make sure that Absolutely. our residents are prepared for Absolutely. this and they're prepared for the workforce. We don't want them switching jobs every <laughs> 12, 24 months, <laughs> yeah, we want them to have that stability. Absolutely. I mean, if you decide to, then that's great, but if you're being forced because there's not any financial gain or mm -hmm. you don't feel like you're growing career-wise, we want to be here to support the residents so we can see you be stable, we can see Douglas County grow. Think about how beneficial it is to have an educated community and a workforce that is educated and has skills. And that's, um, I, I totally, you know, agree with that. Our, our industry does say we have to have a skilled, reliable, consistent exactly. workforce. Yeah. And that's where we step in mm -hmm. so much of the time. Um, whether it is certificate, whether it is learning, you know, the diploma uh, in welding, that is one of our, our big demand fields in the state of Georgia. And um, uh, just a, an aside, we had one of our Move On When Ready high school students just earn the first diploma at West Georgia Tech in welding. This young man, and he just graduated high school, but this young man is going to go to work, if he's not already, probably 50,000 a year oh or more. Yes, and that was his goal. Coming out of high school. Coming out of high exactly. school. Yes. Boy. Yes. With a yes. certificate that, program in welding. A, it's a diploma. Yeah. He, it's a he diploma. received a diploma. But a lot of our students, whether they're traditional non-high school uh, or our high school students, are going to get one or more certificates that they can take out to the workforce. And, and you know, we keep the, our, our finger on the pulse of business and industry uh, uh, as technical college mm -hmm. and, and, and a lot of our, our schools Absolutely. do. And, and that's what they tell us. There has to be some skills in place. There are very few programs that say, okay, just send them you know, on the job training. Exactly. If that occurs, and there are some, they're either low demand at this point or we don't have training programs. It just doesn't thrive. Back when I was, and I hope not to, to date myself or <laughs> age myself, but um, you know, back when, when I was um, uh, growing up in, in, in the technical college, we had upholstery. We had typing. Mm -hmm. We had uh, we had um, carpentry. Um, things you just don't see anymore because there's not either it's on demand. I mean, not on demand, but it's uh, 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 on the job training, mm -hmm. if need be. But again, a lot of those industries, just as Julia said, they're they're telling us what they need, and and luckily we have the flexibility mm -hmm. yes. uh, and and the wherewithal, and we listen, and we can meet those needs. And we're trying to yep. meet those needs yeah, at every chance we can. Say the same thing. Mercer partners with industry. Yes. Uh, sure. That's that's part of my role to help yeah. build partnerships with industry. So when they want to build their leadership team, they come to Mercer and say, "Hey, can you create a class for us with people yes. who want to get their bachelor's degrees in organizational leadership?" Right. Uh, with some of these companies, we even have what we call preferred provider agreements, where if you are a member of this organization, uh, Greystone Power, for example, let's say you work at Greystone, you want to come and get a bachelor's degree, you're going to get a tuition wow. grant from Mercer to come. Wow. To Mercer and get a bachelor's degree to get the BBA and we've got tons of Greystone Power folks mm -hmm. who are coming mm -hmm. to get degrees from us but it's that whole idea of keeping our finger on the pulse yes, of what the yes. business needs are and yes. Douglas is growing it uh, is. it's one it of is. the fastest growing okay. counties in America right, right now there's so many companies I was just driving down uh, Thornton Road just this morning coming here and saw the Amazon Fulfillment Center, saw Coloplast, mm -hmm. saw Med, what, Medline, is that it? Yes. Yes. So many yes. of those companies, yes. mm -hmm. uh, Gordon Foods, I, I don't think I'm gonna mm -hmm. stop before they <laughs> all get mad at me that I don't <laughs> name them, right? Um, <laughs> so many great opportunities. We've just gotta make sure the folks here in Douglas are prepared to step into the exactly. opportunities that are already here in our county. Right. And, uh, and I aware. think that's what yeah, our organizations right. do. Yes. Uh, that's that economic development right. piece that you yeah. talked about earlier. Right. And, yeah. and we work together so well. Yes. These, yes. These, I love these two folks because we have worked together over the years mm -hmm. um, you know do we compete for the same students yes maybe sometimes if you look at it that yeah. way but we try not those of us who are on the ground front lines we try not to think of it that way we're at looking all. at that student exactly. we're looking yeah. at what's the best thing for that student what do they need mm -hmm. 
at Georgia Highlands, we're working. We're we're uh, going to be working together. Our advisors. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to train together. Our advisors will be training together. I love that. This is yeah. This is a, a, a new concept. But um, so when a student goes to Georgia Highlands and maybe they don't, it, you know, their needs are not met there, then they may say, well, look over at West Georgia mm -hmm. Tech. Mm -hmm. Which or we've even, traditionally yeah, done yes, as well. Yes, exactly. But this is going to be a little bit more formalized. Mm -hmm. Our advisors will know what Georgia Highlands has and their advisors will know what West Georgia Tech has. So we work. Yes. We, and we've got articulation agreements exactly. with both yeah, of you exactly. all. So, which means exactly. you can do credits there and we'll transfer those credits mm -hmm. over with mm -hmm. no questions asked. We trust these folks. We trust the education oh, that's yeah. at West Georgia Tech and Georgia Highlands and we'll take those mm -hmm. courses. Mm -hmm. And all three of you are right here. Yes. Yes. That's here. You know, yes. Right Still here. Still at Parkway. Yes. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Douglas County is uh, extremely aggressive right now. And, has been for a number of years in economic development, just as you said. Mm -hmm. Amazon Fulfillment, mm -hmm. Google, yeah. Pricewaterhouse, oh Google, Absolutely. Headline, yeah. KHE has just come in, all mm -hmm. of these things. And they are working with you mm -hmm. to establish these types of, of programs. We've hit it on, on a little bit, but uh, I, I want to go to the, the differences, a little bit of differences mm -hmm. between the three of you because West Georgia Tech is a technical college. Georgia Highlands and Mercer are more in what you think a traditional college role would be. Am I correct? Absolutely. On that? So Absolutely. explain the differences a little bit. I, I guess the way that I see it as far as West Georgia Technical College, of course at one time we were the trade school, and I hate that, it's, it's like a, know, a, yeah. a bad word, but essentially we offered skills for those students, and I always I used to say this: just get in, get out, get on with your life. Yeah. You know, very short term. Um, in Georgia, it is a little bit different than I've seen in in other states because we do have the technical college, which is essentially a two year college. Uh, we offer some of the same things that are offered um, at a board of regents two year college, mm -hmm. community college, but um, but we offer the range. We offer the dental hygiene for two years. We offer surge tech. We offer, you know, uh, registered nursing. But at the same time, we're going to offer um, the manufacturing, you know, the, the things that are needed out immediately in the workforce or that we know will be needed in the future, okay? And the weldings and the, the automotives, which are pretty standard, but, you know, uh, machine tool and die, you know, just different programs that we see that are needed. Um, one of the things that I see when I first came to Georgia 10 years ago, in Georgia Highlands was the community college. It was the two-year Board of Regents or University System of Georgia Community College. They're evolving. They're Absolutely. evolving into the state college because now they're offering four-year degrees, which is great for us because now we're working with them. We have two-year dental hygiene, well, articulation agreement with Georgia Highlands because they have four-year dental hygiene. Oh, so your students getting their basics there mm -hmm. can then mm -hmm. two years with just us. go down the street Absolutely. Yes. literally three miles away maybe or something like that and all of a sudden they're at Georgia Highlands. Absolutely. Or we've had students even um, uh, the reverse that wanted a business degree with us or wanted a pathway in business uh, but also wants to be a cosmetologist because they want to own their own salon. And so it works back and forth all the time between us. We have students that have started, earned their associates, have gone on to Mercer. At the end of the day, we want to do what's best for the students. Sure. As Lisa said, sure. of course, we compete from the same pool. <laughs> We're here, but we know that when we collaborate, it's more beneficial to the community and to the students Absolutely. that are yeah, here. Absolutely. And as Lisa said, we we have evolved. The idea of a community college used to be, well, you go there if you can't get in anywhere else. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that is no you know, longer just, yeah, the stigma. You, you exactly. Oh, 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 my child couldn't. would never go to would a community never college. Is what yeah. people, but now yes. there are students that are graduating top of their class. There are wow. students that, for one reason or another, are not desiring 
the 20,000 plus environment student mm -hmm. and they want to start out closer to home and then transition or we have students that we are their number one choice. That's so I mean. the idea of the community college is also evolving and changing where it's not, oh, that's my plan B. We are now the plan A, a. for a lot of students. Yes. And I've got to talk about how Mercer is a little bit different than you all with our campus here in Douglas. So uh, our typical age range for the student at our uh, Douglas campus is about 35. So we've mm -hmm. got those working adults who mm -hmm. are finishing a program and want to come and transfer over, or you've been working for 10 years and you've kind of hit that glass ceiling, uh, and the person you trained right. is now getting promoted over you because you don't have that degree. Mm -hmm. You say, I've got to come back and get it, and that's what's available in our Douglas campus. Uh, and we make it completely accessible, and I, I guess this goes back to what you said a minute ago. Uh, is college for everybody? It certainly is, yes. but it's also accessible to exactly. everybody at the mm -hmm. same time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So those mm -hmm. folks who are working all day, you can come to class at 5.30 in the evening and work on getting that bachelor's degree so that you can get that leadership uh, next level uh, position that you've been working hard for in the company where you've served for so many years. Okay, and so let's go back to the original, a couple of the original concerns. Yeah. You just hit on it. I have to work. That's not I an have excuse to have anymore. money coming <laughs> That's in. That's not yeah. an excuse you know, I, have a, I have a family. Mm -hmm. uh, college it's is tough. expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Things like that. So. You know, you're talking about night classes now. Yeah. Someone coming at the age of 35 coming in, maybe, maybe right out of high school, they had the, they didn't feel like they were ready for college, mm -hmm. right. which happens. And, which and is they fine. decided to get a family, get things in, kind of get their career started, and maybe the then decide to go to college. So let's talk just a moment about the adult education, which. Lisa said, is near and dear to my heart. <laughs> I've been pushing it ever since I've, I've been an employee here at Douglas County. Let's talk about night classes and yeah. online classes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. um, and then let's talk a little bit, or if, ask you to talk a little bit, about uh, grants, loans, and other financing of options that are available. Absolutely. Go. Uh, well, Mercer yeah. has been in adult <laughs> education since the 70s. We were really at the, the vanguard of that mm -hmm. when people started going back to school and realizing that the bachelor's degree was getting more and more necessary to compete in industry. Uh, and like I said, we've been in Douglas for 20 years educating students and folks who want to come back to school. And you will walk into our campus at noon and see nobody there. Uh, but you'll walk into our campus at 515 and the, the classrooms and the halls are filled with students who have, may have just left their job right down the street and are deciding now to come to class. Uh, those classes last about two hours. Uh, and what's really cool about the way we've structured things is that classes are only eight weeks. So mm -hmm. for eight weeks, you're in class one night a week. You come in one night a week for eight weeks. And then after eight weeks, that class is done. Uh, so if you're concerned about time, you're concerned that it's going to be too much of a stressor taking you from your family, you're only coming one night a week. Right. Uh, so it's something that is very, very doable. We work hard to make college convenient. Yes. Now notice what I didn't say. I didn't say that it wouldn't be challenging. No, <laughs> of course. Any school worth its salt is going to be challenging, it right? If it's be. not challenging, it's not credible. Get out of there. I All always right? tell <laughs> students the same thing. Yes, please leave. Uh, but convenient, yes. We're going to do whatever we can to make right. this accessible for you so that you can come back to school and get that degree so you can be competitive in the workforce and then ultimately build the community that's around you. Yeah. And we all offer online. Oh yeah. my gosh, courses, yeah. Which are just online growing. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, yes, higher indeed. education. It is so convenient. Mm -hmm. Do you all do hybrid courses? Oh, yes. Yeah. And oh, yes. that's, that's that whole it. idea of you got some online and you got right. a little I'm bit of in class and yeah. so you're Maybe doing a mix of the both. One day a week and then yeah. the, the, uh, the rest of the class is online, is which is online. really popular right online. now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, mm -hmm. the online, I think, is, is growing because more and more people have access to the internet. That's yeah. true. You know, 10 years ago, it, it still was kind of like, oh, you've got that. I mean, nobody had Wi-Fi back then. No, not at all. And, and, right. and doing all this. What I like about the online courses, it's particularly uh, a point that you were making. Let's say that there is a 35-year-old. Uh, a, a Let's go yeah. back mm -hmm. to, to that age. And they have a family. They got kids put to bed. They got kids mm -hmm. who are doing homework mm -hmm. and things like that. You can take an online course after the kids have gone Absolutely. to bed. Exactly. Absolutely. And you exactly. can work on it and stop and start as you guys. Yeah. You yeah. Guys. yeah. You yeah. study you know. English in your pajamas. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's wonderful. Yeah, they don't care what you yeah. wear. Not at all. Yeah. On the online yeah. courses. Yeah. On that, I think we have so many opportunities as I open the show that people are just not taking advantage of here in our county. I 
uh, applaud what all three of you are doing. I appreciate that you are doing it. I appreciate that each of your organizations has decided to invest in Douglas County, that you have the agreements between each other, that you are supporting each other. You're making our community better. So my thank yous to you for this yeah, educational and very enlightening round table. Thank you so very much for coming yes. in. And now to you, our viewers, realize your possibilities and don't sell yourself short. Start in, get that college degree. It's literally just around the corner. And I hope that we've been able to bring some focus into this subject for you. I'm Wes Allen. Thanks for joining me.